What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Analyzing them, taking pics of them, hunting them, and of course playing with them. I try to upload new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So check back on those days to see what I've uploaded. Or hit that notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoyed this video by the, by the end, please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. As always, the information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and today I have for you guys the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Carbonized Boba Fett. And guys, this thing is a masterpiece in my opinion. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick him up, but... I was looking at my Boba Fett display and I was like, you know what would look really good here? A carbonized Boba Fett. Um, and that's really why I picked him up. I mean, I really, Boba Fett's my favorite character in Star Wars, Boba Fett and Jango Fett and the clones, but in reality, they're all the same person. And so, you know, it's all the same character in a way, just different armor. Um, but Boba Fett's definitely is one of my favorite top uh, Star Wars characters in general, like I said, between it's a tie between him and Jango and the clones, but uh, definitely Boa because of his green armor and uh, green is my favorite color. It always has been since I was a kid. Uh, so even when I was younger and I saw the, you know, the original trilogy, um, Boa Fett was always my favorite. Uh, so I really was contemplating on the fence about this guy because I already have another Boa Fett and I have a lot of stuff for my Boa Fett display. Um, including the Black Series helmet, and I was looking at it, and I was kind of like, a carbonized Boba Fett would fit perfectly here. You know, it's just shiny. It's, it's it brings attention to the display because it's shiny and whatnot. Um, because I wasn't really sure where I'd use them for my collection, fit them in, um, because I don't own any of the other carbonized figures because they kind of just didn't catch my eye. Um, and like I said, I re already do have the archive. Uh, Boba Fett figure so I was like do I really need another Boba Fett? I really needed another Boba Fett um, so I really like this Boba Fett and I cannot stop saying enough good stuff about it as you can tell um, where did I pick him up? I picked him up off of eBay I found him for $21.99 um, someone was selling him for really cheap yeah um, I got super lucky so I went ahead and picked him up um, so let's go ahead and bring him closer get a closer look at this guy I mean look at him he is just shiny and it's shiny in a good way like it doesn't overpower anything it just brings out the armor more of anything because I mean his armor is supposed to be a little shiny I mean yeah it's supposed to be dirty and matte and whatnot but in my opinion I think the shine just brings it out so much more um, if they ever come out with a carbonized Beskar armor Mando, I know that's going to be super hard to find. Everyone's going to want it and whatnot, but that that figure will look amazing. Um, so, so I'm sure it's down the road somewhere. But like I said, it's going to be one of those impossible to get and third party four times the original retail price market type of situation. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first and foremost, um, he actually comes with a jetpack on in the package, which is kind of odd because they stick it into the plastic. It's not like the archive figure or the original figure where they stuck it on the side as an accessory. Um, but taking a look at it, it is really nice in my opinion. That green, that shiny carbonized green with the little silver accents to show a little weathering to it. Um, going ahead and let's pull out his sidearm right here. Let's go ahead and put him back here. He stands really well. That's a great, another great feature. Uh, the same sidearm that comes with the Boba Fett that if you have the archive edition, um, except, you know, it does come with that carbonized shiny paint, which I do really like that that's what they did. They didn't just, you know, carbonize the figure itself. They went ahead and painted the accessories, the carbonized uh, paint colors as well and really brings the shine to them. So, you know, I got to give Hasbro that. They didn't get lazy and just give us the same blasters that they gave the original Boba Fett. 
uh, without you know the shiny finish and just and just giving us the matte finish blaster. So as you can see, it has that nice gleam, that nice gloss to it. Um, so I'm really happy that they did that because um, you know Hasbro has had the tendency to cut corners at times, and this is definitely not one of the times they did it. So taking a look at the figure himself he's basically just a repaint of the archive edition except for this cape is different um, than the archive edition which i really like and it's really shiny um, i don't know i really like this cape compared to the archive edition one um, or the regular matte finish you know boa fett um, I, I really enjoy that so looking at his articulation he looks he looks to the right Pretty tight though, his head joints pretty tight. Looks to the left, but he does move. Looking at his up and down, he can look down that much, he can look up that much. So, I mean, like I said, if you have the archive edition Boba Fett, you know what you're getting. Um, his arms are hindered by his shoulder pads. Um, he does have the single hinge elbow, but the swivel as well. Um, but it is hindered as well by his. Uh, sleeve right there, you know the classic old Boba Fett issue right there. Uh, he does have swivel hinge at the wrist as well as in. Oops, come on. Okay, well it has the hinge right there for in and out, but he's really tight in certain points in the joints. Um, so I'll have to like heat him up or something. He does have the trigger finger or trigger wrist in and out. That one, so you, you can see that one moves really easily up and down the single hinge on the other elbow as well uh, he does have the swivel as well right there and he has the typical not so good boba fett leg extension because of the the i guess i keep wanting to say package that he has right there because it looks like a, he's carrying a package but i guess side side pocket satchel type of thing um it does go back that much um, he does have the double hinge knee joints, but like I said, very tight. Um, you do get the ankle articulation that much down, not so much up because of his armor, and you do get the classic rocker ankle joint. So overall, it's the same figure as you got in the Archive Edition, just repainted in that beautiful carbonized uh, paint and I cannot be happier with them. Like I said, I did buy them specifically for um, a centerpiece in my Boba Fett display and not so much uh, my Black Series collection or my toy photography. Although I did use them for a few shots um, for the Mandalorian uh, season two premiere. So if you want to see those, you can check them out over at Cool Figures on Instagram. But besides that, that's basically it with this figure. So let's go ahead take some cool pics with this guy and we'll be right back guys. Right, guys thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video if you enjoyed those pics you can find more over at cool figures on instagram and if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button it really helps out the channel and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button but whether or not you're a subscriber thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really do appreciate it as always i'm your host jesse the bat magical aka the buff collector and i will talk to you guys in the next video